All right, let's talk about Sphero. Sphero is one of the stations that we use in the computer lit classroom here at Sandberg. And when you first get your Sphero, it's very exciting because it's a remote control wall, which is kind of neat to drive around. But there's a couple things that you need to know. Number one is Sphero um, pairs via Bluetooth with one device at a time. So the way I have them organized in the classroom is that Sphero number one matches with iPad number one. So you have to make sure that you have a matching set, otherwise it won't work. Now, once you have your Sphero, you can open up the Sphero app and you may find that it starts to run and it's searching for a Sphero. Well, my Sphero has to be on before it can actually find it. And the way that you wake up a Sphero is you give it a little shake or a tap until it lights up. Now, Sphero is being searched for, but this time my Sphero connected all on its own. So this is very lucky and you can go ahead and play and start using your Sphero. Occasionally though, your Sphero doesn't get found right away. Here are some things you can do to troubleshoot that situation. First of all, double tap your home button and quit any other apps that might be running, including the Sphero app itself. Sometimes it just needs to be reopened and refreshed in order to work correctly. You can also go into the settings on your iPad and check the Bluetooth connection. So I'm gonna click Bluetooth and I'm gonna look to see, because my Spheros are already paired, they should pop up under my devices. And in this case, you can see Sphero OYP is connected. Sometimes that's actually all it takes is you open up the settings, you let it connect, and um, then reopen up the app. Sometimes you do need to hit the little information button and where I see a disconnect right now, sometimes there's actually a button that says connect. So if it's not connected, you can hit that connect button and that sometimes is enough to refresh it and wake it up. Another thing that I do sometimes if I'm really having trouble is I will shut down the whole iPad and restart it. Um, but usually once I go into settings, I've quit the apps, I've restarted the apps. I usually can get my Sphero to connect. Sometimes he needs another shake or another little tap, but usually that by this point, going in and checking my Bluetooth settings, going into my Sphero settings, I can get him to be recognized and connected, and then I'm pretty much ready to go. Now, before you just start driving your Sphero around, there's one more thing that you need to know, and that is how to calibrate your Sphero. So I'm gonna go to play, and no matter what app I am using for the Sphero, it has a button that looks like this. It's a circle, um, usually with a little dot or some arrows. When I press it, I can spin. And you notice as I'm moving it, my Sphero has a little blue tail that's spinning around it too. I want my blue tail and my Sphero pointing towards me because it is the tail. So that way when I have Sphero drive away from me, he will always drive away from me. If I have him drive backwards, he will drive towards me and so on. If you don't do this, your Sphero is going to drive very much the opposite of the way that you control it and it's very frustrating to get it to do anything at all. So you will find that you will constantly have to calibrate your Sphero. So this is probably my number one most helpful tip is using this little uh, calibration dot there. So, happy Sphero-ing!